Hey everybody, please hit like and subscribe so we can get more fun, mysterious, and magical content. When we reach 1,500 subscribers, we will give away a $50 gift card. For today's adventure, we'll be going to the at-home store and previewing all of their Halloween stuff. So first we came to this area with these huge blow-ups that were really nice, reasonably priced, and just really interesting. That scary tree is kind of cool. As well as that huge vintage looking cat and a giant pumpkin. They also had, of course, an assortment of different colored lights. Hey. And the usual spinning wall projectors in different styles. This section we had some glittery spider skeletons, seem more like porch decorations and outdoor decorations. with glitter, giant skulls, and pumpkins. They both lit up. Some dragons. Don't know if I really see that as Halloween, but if you're into fantasy, Tolkien, that sort of thing, you can do a scary sort of medieval fantasy. Different types of floor mats are really cute. The gargoyles. I would advise going out now and start looking. There were three items I really wanted this year. All three of them are sold out. I'll have to wait till next year to get them. A cute little candy house here. Some nice little knickknacks. I kind of like that written pumpkin there with that spooky type on it. This section had a lot of cutesy stuff in it, so if you're into that, they have a lot of cutesy, momish kind of stuff. Giant candy corn pillows, a cute ghost pillow. Not as expensive as other stores. Most stores charge 30, 40, sometimes even up to 50, 60 dollars, depending on the decoration of the pillow. These were pick sections, witch hats, pumpkins, mostly glitter, giant ornaments, regular size ornaments. A mini tree and wreath. This is a home decor section. Those are placemats, which I'm thinking about getting. Maybe the pumpkin. A 
cutting board, some Victorian pillows in different colors. I like that sign, but I'm not sure where I put it at. I need a Halloween cauldron for my table. I'm doing a Hocus Pocus theme this year just not a pumpkin face. Here we have the gnomes, which I still I am not excited about, but hey, some people like them. I thought that was a really interesting dish. If you're into cats, that was a really neat thing to get. I debated about this one, I'm not sure if I can use it, but I thought it was an interesting serving tray. Skeletons, big skeletons, small skeletons, hey. They don't discriminate. Dragons, rats, spider skeletons, I don't know how that could be, but frog skeletons. Here we have this oil slick section of potions and skulls. Currently I need some small potion bottles which I don't feel like making. So I'm hoping that one of the discount stores will have some. The different colored skull bottles. I might be able to use one of those. Some large hanging ghosts. I don't think these ones actually lit up. They were just static ghosts. Jack and Sally from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Some webbing. Spiders. Different types of door wreaths. I kind of like these. Some of them had bats and other characters on top. Not crazy about these feathery boo signs. Day of the Dead style. And our happy little ghost again. It seemed to be one of the themes this year. There were some fall pillows mixed in. Some stackable books.
different variety of skulls. Glittery pillows. I have to say I like skulls with crowns on them, but I just haven't seen one that I personally wanted to buy. some glamkins that was kind of interesting doesn't quite go with my decor but I liked it Zero and more Jack Skellington. I'm debating about this wreath. It's a little bit expensive, so maybe if I get it on sale. more of the doll witches some of these weren't pretty they were more like hags a cool pumpkin with a snake coiled around the top that was interesting more tarot reading I know these were popular last year, those animal prints. More table toppers. I really like this medieval king on the throne. I like skulls with crowns, but I just don't think it'll fit my decor. But I still like looking at it. Pretty pumpkins, more like a boudoir kind of thing. the crystals. I remember seeing that last year with some of the crystal skulls. Some psychic tarot card items. I need some potion jars, but just not giant ones. I'm looking for little ones. So if anybody can comment below on where we can get some good ones, let me know. This is a really neat, neat pumpkin this year. It sort of has a serpent and dragon scales on it.
not crazy about this one with the oil slick eyes. That's a little bit too thick for me. And some pretty little glittery trees to hang ornaments on or other elements. I got my pillows this year. They're Magashoni Home. It says the word boo and crystals. Got two that matched. I don't know if I'm crazy about the hand and the rose. It's too, I don't know. if I'm crazy about that blue and tan combination. Need a pumpkin like that, just smaller that might have a fiery bulb in it for my living room. So one thing I'm missing is I need an indoor jack-o'-lantern to go with my stuff. I really like these mini trailers, although I would never buy one, I still just like them. Not too bad for an artificial crow. Most of them look pretty bad. That I thought was interesting. I debated about getting it, but I really don't have anywhere to put it, and it was a little bit pricey. So I put it back. More placemat items. And we're back to the gnomes again, which is one thing that I really can't get into. That was interesting and it had sort of relief impressions of bugs crawling on it. A little bit pricey, 24 bucks. This was more of a psychic witch line here.
these are pretty nice. I kind of like this little demon dragon skeleton. It was actually really nice. The unicorn skull, I don't get it, but hey. That is a, apparently a flamingo skeleton. I guess if you're from Florida, it might be a, kind of a joke. I want that happy Halloween sign, but just didn't have the money for it. Okay, that was our review for today. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. There was a lot of really nice stuff there, but it wasn't a lot of stuff that I actually needed. They're probably going to get more stuff in as we're just in August when I did this review, so we'll probably go back again. Please hit like and subscribe for more so we can give you more fun, magical, mysterious content. Thank you again.